sand everywhere. The camera's got sand all over. That can't be good. That's okay. It's just freaking sand and dirt everywhere. It works up. That was fun. I, I started to go up the steep part. There's no way I was doing that. I don't know what I was thinking. I went the easy way, the easier way. And I got the shot. It wasn't as epic as I thought it was gonna be, but it's more about the experience of just getting my Oi. ass up there. And that was fun. Okay, left Truckee this morning, which was hard to do. I've been there for, hang on, my keys. Back pocket. So I left Truckee this morning. It was hard to do. I, I love it there. It's seriously one of those towns where you roll into it. It's like, if I had to give up van life right now and live here, yeah, I could do that. It's beautiful. <clears throat> Oh, I got so much sand in my teeth and in my throat. I'm headed toward Lake Oroville. Onward, let's go. Yeah. There it is. Could jump on right now if we weren't in quarantine. One day though, one day it's coming. I don't know if I'll do the whole thing. Mexico to Canada, walking for months like six months, eight months, 18 miles a day. <laughs> I mean, imagine the person you become after you finish that, but ouch, let's go. I just pulled over, sorry if there's wind noise. Oh my God, I cannot believe where I'm standing right now. Check this out. This is the rock that I'm slowly walking out to the edge of. Oh my God. Ah, this is insane. If any of you are out there thinking, like maybe, maybe you could do this. Friggin do it, friggin do it. Oh, I hope these moments aren't getting old where I'm just like standing in awe and sharing that with you. I know it's a rough time we're all going through with the quarantine, but this is how I'm dealing with it. This is how, I mean, I'm totally alone. So life is good. Hope you are too. I could have gotten a lot closer to the edge. I was being safe. I tried doing one of those cool, like feet dangling over the edge shots that all these awesome landscape photographers get. I don't think it turned out too good because you could tell I'm like back from the edge, but I survived, so. More sights to see, giddy up. What is that? Look at this little neighborhood. Hashtag boat life. It's beautiful here, by the way. I don't even know what lake this is, but it's so like emerald green, blue. Look at this. God. It's awesome. I love being out here, but yeah, every time I shoot one of these videos and I'm showing just how happy I am and how excited I am to be out on the road, it just creeps in a little bit of guilt. I don't know. And I think I have to open it up to you guys and just let me know if I should feel guilty about doing this, um, and if I should just park somewhere and stop. I know I'm a different story, I know I'm a van lifer. I talk about this uh, a lot in my second YouTube video, which isn't up yet, it's coming. But yeah, I'd really like to know your, your thoughts on that. Please be honest and don't hold back. I just appreciate your opinion about if you think that this is all wrong. Yeah, I'd love to know what you think. I was, I was thinking about it the whole drive. Yeah, let me, yeah. Thinking about it the whole drive. I just touched my face again. <sighs> yeah, it definitely happens. The guilt comes about for traveling. But I gotta give it to myself. I am doing everything in my power to make absolutely sure I'm not spreading the disease and I'm not putting myself at risk of getting it. I'm being super, super cautious. The only time I ever come anywhere near humans is to get gas and 
I don't get anywhere near humans. And I use gloves, mask, everything I have to do. I think I'm doing okay. To think that I'm all the way out here now and that I should just stop, especially now, like I'm out way out in the wilderness. To know that I'd have to just stay here for who knows how long until this is all over. <sighs> uh, I'm having trouble with it, obviously. It's on my mind. I don't know how many of you out there th are watching me thinking, what's this freaking guy doing? There's a pandemic. You might not know the whole story either. You might not know that this is my house and I moved in April 1st and I had to get out of my apartment. So I didn't have that to fall back on. The plan all along before the pandemic was to move into this. Here I am. I'm here way out in the wilderness, away from every human. Um, and I'm just gonna make some dinner and go to sleep. Maybe read a book. I don't know. As always, I just hope you're well and good and take care of each other. And if you're with your family and loved ones, just freaking squeeze them so tight. And, uh, because I wish I could do that. Those of you that can, do it. It'll make me feel happy. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. We'll see you next time. I love you. Bye-bye. I'll be better tomorrow, I promise. Good night.